I think communally we need to start looking at art is the economic driver into the city of Grand Rapids. Creating a beautiful, vibrant, viable city one piece at a time. The only way to do that is to support our local artists. Well, it's no secret that Grand Rapids has a thriving arts community that includes, yet goes beyond the theater, ballet, symphony, and art museum. By lifting up our creative community, we all win. Today we learn more about an organization that's doing that in so many different ways. The amount of art that's getting out into the city is not only pushing people to recognize the artists in the city, but it's really pushing the boundaries of artists and creatives in the city to see what they can do next. It is impossible to travel around the city of Grand Rapids and not experience public art, from larger-than-life murals to storm drains to electrical boxes. One of the driving forces behind this ever-growing exhibit, Lions and Rabbits Center for the Arts and its founder, Hannah Berry. We have changed our mission statement probably 10 times. It's now just about celebrating creative innovation and how do we get artists to a point where they are freely innovating. This all started as a business to make her own art, and it's evolved into more than she ever expected to become a thriving nonprofit that's growing piece by piece across the sprawling city. There is just much need for individual artist care, entrepreneurship development for artists, and there's many people who are striving to do these things, but there needs to be people in each neighborhood doing them. Beyond providing opportunity, Lions and Rabbits helps artists with all the things besides creativity. They want more hands-on development, they want help with their budgeting, their artist statements, their understanding of how to run and operate a scissor lift, right? So it's all of these things that you're you need to field out to different fields and we're almost becoming a communication point for people as well as an arts uh, organization for people. And then there's the exposure. During signature events like After Dark, the public is able to experience art, support the artist, and watch the face of their communities change. Starting in May, second Saturdays are coming. They're fundraising events, so we'll have a liquor license in that designated area, and we have about 100 artists that we're trying to shoot from, from entrepreneurs to small businesses to come down and vend at these markets and they're just a celebration of arts and culture. All of the fundraising proceeds go back to the public art that we're putting up. So it's really just a way for the community to come experience, have fun, see all of the things that have happened pre-COVID, out of COVID, and really celebrate the community. Now that's just a taste of what Lions and Rabbits is doing. You can support them through donations, volunteering, and attending events. Coming up on April 9th, there will be an event with Kingmas in Creston from 11 to 4 with food samples, interactive art, quality crafts, and more. You can also rent their space, buy art on their website, and more. We put a link for more information on our website.